guys, welcome to my crochet channel and this is my most recent crochet creation, a cocoon cardigan. I'm sure you've seen crochet cocoon cardigans before, they are quite popular right now. But this is the first ever cocoon cardigan that I've made. The stitch that I used is the same that I used for a scarf not long ago, but you can see that it looks quite different and that's because it's a different yarn and it's a completely different project. You can make this cardigan in any size you want. I will post the measurements for different sizes in the description box below. And I made mine in size small and I can show you what it looks like. a little it's very cozy and warm and I really really love it to make my cardigan I used about 2000 yards of impeccable yarn by loops and threads and a hook size age 5 millimeters the amount of yarn you will need for your specific size might be different it will be somewhere in between 2,000 and 4,000 yards, depending on how large the size is. I made this cardigan for myself in size small, so I started with a chain 38 inches long. To make a cardigan for your size, check the sizes and measurements in the description box below and start with a chain as long as you need, but make sure that that chain is divisible by 5. For my small sample size cardigan, I will start with 60 chains. One, two, three, four. Here I have 60 chains and I'm ready to start my first row. Into the seventh chain from the hook, I will make a puff stitch. We never count the chain on the hook, we always start counting from the next chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So yarn over and I insert the hook and draw up a loop. Again, yarn over, I insert the hook and draw up a loop. One more time and one more time. So I did it a total of four times and now I have eight loops on my hook and this chain. I do yarn over and I draw my yarn through all four loops and now I have one loop and one chain on the hook and again yarn over and I close them together. Now into the same chain where the puff stitch was made I also make four double crochets. One, two, three, Four. Now I skip four chains, one, two, three, four, and into the fifth chain again I will work a puff stitch and four double crochets. One, two, three, four. And now four double crochets into the same chain. One, two, three, four. Now again I will skip four chains and I will continue crocheting this way all the way across to the last three chains. And also I want you to note here that when you work into one chain when you work a puff stitch and double crochets the next chain becomes very small and very difficult to see so make sure you are skipping four chains and not five here i am at the end of this row i only have three chains left so i skip two chains and i make a double crochet into the last chain and my first row is finished i start row two with three chains and turn and now I will work into the space in between the two stitches of the next group of stitches right here. This is the space in between two double crochets. So first I work a puff stitch. Two 
and then into the same space I work four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Now I skip the rest of the stitches in this group and I will be working into the space in between two double crochets of the next group. So first I work a puff stitch, one, two, three, four. And into the same space I work four double crochets, one, two, three, four. And I continue crocheting this way all the way across. Here I am at the end of the row and I end this row with a double crochet into the top chain of this turning chain. And now all I need to do is to repeat row 2 until I have a crochet piece of the length that I need. For the real size cardigan this length would have to be about 44 inches but because I'm making a small size uh, sample cardigan I will make it shorter. So here I made my piece longer. Now when you're making the real size cardigan you must crochet this piece until it's 44 inches long. Doesn't matter which size you're making, small or extra large, for any size the piece over here should be 44 inches long. Next thing that I do is I fold it in half. Look, I was crocheting from here up over here and this is the way I fold it. Not this way, but top to bottom, like this. Next, I'm going to stitch the sides together over here and here, but I will leave some openings over here and here for arms. Now I'm going to measure 4 inches from the fold over here for my arm opening and I put a stitch marker there. And I do the same thing on the other side, again I measure 4 inches from the fold and I put a stitch marker. Now for my sample cardigan I measured 4 inches but when you are making the real size cardigan leave 7 inches on each side for the arm openings. 7 inches and it doesn't matter what size you're making either size small or medium or large. For any size you leave 7 inches over here for the arm openings. And now I'm going to stitch along this side using single crochet. So I'm going to stitch these two pieces together. But first I'm going to hide this yarn tail so it's not in my way. And then I will start stitching the sides together. So now I'm ready to start stitching. I make one chain and I use single crochets. I stitch along the sides evenly. I don't really count the stitches but I just keep an eye to make sure that it's not too tight, not too loose. And just using single crochets I crochet along the sides. You can use slip stitches instead of single crochets. You can even use a tapestry needle to stitch the sides together. It's really up to you. On my cardigan I used single crochets. So I'm going to continue crocheting this way all the way to my stitch marker and at that point I will fasten off. So I got over here, I fastened off, I hit the yarn tail and now this is my arm opening and this side is stitched together and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I will attach my yarn over here and crochet this way using single crochets up to the stitch marker. So now I have both sides are stitched and I turn my cardigan inside out and I fold it like this actually this way. So this is how it's going to be worn. This is going to be around the neck. 
these are the openings for the arms and this is gonna be this would be the bottom part like this so now we need to work on the edging over here oh, and you can see that the on the other side the stitches look quite nice using single crochets on the inside and that's what it looks like on the right side of work now I'm going to attach yarn over here at the seam and I'm going to crochet around this whole opening so over here I attached the yarn at the seam and I'm ready to start crocheting around the edging I make one chain and now I will use single crochets here is how it goes here over here I have a chain space and into this chain space I make three single crochets one two three next I have the space where the puff stitch was made and into the same space I make one single crochet now again I have a chain space and into the chain space I make three single crochets one two three and again here is the space with the puff stitch into that space I make one single crochet now again three single crochets over here one over here three into the chain space one into the space with the puff stitch and I continue crocheting this way until the pattern is going to change you will see in a moment so here I am at the seam and over here the pattern changes as you can see here goes upside down and here it goes uh, right side up so what I'm going to do here is to make four single crochets basically into each stitch over here so that the amount of stitches throughout is gonna stay the same on this side I made four stitches per pattern repeat three into the chain space and one into the puff stitch and over here I will also make four stitches per pattern repeat like this I make the first single crochet one then the next one two three and four and again into the next pattern repeat one two three four and again one two three four and I will continue this way until I get back to the point where I started this round now I got to the beginning of the round and I simply join it with a slip stitch I'm starting my next round with three chains one two three and these three chains will count as my first double crochet and now I'm going to work a double crochet into each single crochet around so this round is quite easy I'm simply working double crochets here I join the first round of double crochets with a slip stitch and I'm ready to start my next round I start with three chains and now around this three chains of the previous round I'm going to make a front post double crochet so basically only this front post double crochet will count as my first stitch and this chain it's kind of gonna go to the back so it's not visible because now I'm going to alternate front post double crochet and back post double crochet so next I make a back post double crochet now I make a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet so as you see I alternate front post back post front post back post and I continue crocheting this way around the entire edging here I got to the end of the round and now I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the first front post double crochet so basically I'm skipping these three chains and joining over here so those three chains they don't really count okay now I'm ready to start the next round I start with three chains just the way I did before and now again around this front post double crochet I make a front post double crochet and next I make a back post double crochet around the next back post double crochet now again I will crochet alternating front posts and back posts back post double crochets and I just make one more round like this 
and at the end of the round I join with a slip stitch again in top of the front post double crochet not the chain like this and now I'm going to fasten off and hide the yarn tail So now the edging is ready and what we need to do now is to work the arm openings. I attach the yarn at the seam over here. And now I'm going to work single crochets around the arm opening. I make one chain and now I start working single crochets. So right here it looks like I'm working into the end of rows. So into each end of row I will make two single crochets. One, two. Then into the next end of row I make two more. Again over here I have the end of row and I make two single crochets. And again two single crochets one two over here is the end of row and I make two single crochets and I continue crocheting this way around the arm opening so here I crocheted all the way around and joined with a slip stitch to the very first single crochet now I'm going to work my cuff of the arm opening exactly the same way I worked the edging over here next round I'm going to make a round of double crochets and then I will make two rounds alternating front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet back post double crochet basically I work exactly the same way the way I work the edging over here so here is the finished cuff of my arm opening I will fasten off and hide the yarn tail and on the actual cardigan it will be slightly wider maybe like this but on my sample cardigan it's about this big now all I need to do is work the other one exactly the same way